Hey everyone, this is Shag. Approximately one person was like, Hey, you should play Terraria because I had that one video of me falling down a pit forever that I thought was kind of amusing. So, I love having excuses to play Terraria, so I'm just going to not use my character that's already established that I play multiplayer with and see if we can, you know, establish whether or not this would be a reasonable idea to LP Terraria, that is. I mean, it has potential to be interesting and also potential to be the opposite of interesting. I personally like it more than Minecraft and have more of an idea of what to do on it, so it would work better than that at least. You know, in theory. So I guess we can at least try it out a little bit. We'll just make some dude here. Nothing too special, nothing too amazing. Just a dude. He'll have a shirt. And his shirt will be a certain color, as opposed to not an uncertain fate of cloth or fabric, color, thing, words. You know, he's just gonna be your everyday average civilian of a uninhabited world that he will have to make habited, inhabited, forcefully, with his own hands. As people are wont to do in this video game. With the aid of his bright purple shoes. Or perhaps that's more like a pink right now. And this average fellow shall have an average name such as Baron von Hauser, and he will live in the world of Donatopia, and everything will be okay. It's Terraria O'Clock, so let's get this started and see what happens. Definitely nothing interesting. I see, we've started with a MASSIVE copper axe. It has a size bonus, perfect for Baron Von Hauser's tree-cutting needs. So the first thing you do in this game is you build a freaking house of wood, hopefully. Also, we have Cole the Guide, who, if he's not careful, will get himself encased in slime and death. One could build a house, or one could explore off in one of the directions in order to get oneself slaughtered, perhaps. But everyone knows the most entertaining thing you could possibly do first in a video game such as this when you're recording it for the interbutt is to chop down all the trees. This will be my sales pitch for this game. Look at all these trees. This is extreme botany. At least that's what Final Fantasy XIV would have you believe, which I played once. I don't think they actually called it botany. Or maybe they did. I don't know. I just knew there was an extensive tree cutting minigame. Way more in depth than this. If you ever want to play a tree cutting simulator, that might be one of the things Final Fantasy XIV is okay for. But don't take my word on that. So, we'll cut down all these trees, right? I promise it will be the most exciting thing you have ever seen. Now, now that we have about a hundred million wood, we should locate an appropriate site for a housing project. Which... Oh, wow! Snow! Like, immediately to our left. That doesn't usually happen, especially not during the holi- or not during the non-holidays. I consider this a lucky start, and a well-done LP for the sake of everyone. This is the worst snow biome because it's mostly water. This is the snow biome meets the summer. But seriously, let's see if we can Construct a little snowbound house. If we can find enough snow that's not water. 
that's a little bit odd. Exploration must be completed. Ah, oh, we've got an underground bit of snow biome going on here. Classy. Very classy, yes. Come on, put that thing. Huh. Fine, I'll make more platforms. You're so pushy, Baron. Baron Von Hauser. We need to make you a Von House before we can do anything else. Seriously, worst snow biome. Speaking of worst things, the short sword that you start with is pretty much the worst kind of weapon. You might be able to understand why. I don't have any torches. I could just go ahead and make some. That would be helpful. But, you know, helpful is not my middle name. Most people seem to have adjectives as their middle name, but I do not, actually. It makes it kind of strange, meeting those people at social gatherings and learning everything about them. You know what? A little house on this cliff might not actually be a bad idea. Let's ignore Mr. Slime there. Why is this tree so durable? I don't know. That was one hardcore tree, if I do say so myself. Or at least medium core. We'll just have to even out this snow a little bit and drain that small lake. And accidentally torch the, the entire biome. Luckily, snow does not actually melt. We cannot... Oh yeah, we can remove that torch. Silly me thinking you needed hammers for things. Alright. Let's get our build on. We can make a nice little wintry log cabin deal. Where all the slimes were f will frolic forever. I wish they would stop doing that. It really lowers the property value. But anyway... Be free, water! Be free! And now that that's done with, put the snow back. Nothing ever happens. We could also build bricks out of the snow if we were particularly enterprising. At least as far as I understand, because snow is not something I have multiplayer experience with. Ah, uh, I hate it when that happens. Um, let's see. Let's ruin the ecosystem a little bit more. Drain that water into that cave. Okay. Now then, Cliff House. Were I to actually LP this game, chances are that more would happen than just building. But I can't guarantee that at all, because this game has a lot of building in it. Now, building isn't exactly the focus of this game, I would say. It's more like adventuring in general, but... You know, you have the build to adventure. You at least have to craft. And that was a small mistake on my part. But that's okay, because... I don't know. Because you can't mine wood. First you have to make the workbench, and then you put the workbench, and then you make the doors. You make all the doors. One thing Chompy would tell you is that you always want to have some doors on you. I'm sure they have many, many uses. But, but I am merely a shag, so I do not understand the fine might that is a door, as much as some people might.
Another thing about the snow biome, if I remember correctly, is that it's immune to the spread of corruption, as well as super secret things in the future, which I might as well just say the hallow, because, hey, who knows if this LP is actually going places. This is just me wanting to record Terraria. Now we have a little porch, it's amazing, okay. So in order for a house to be qualified as an actual house, one must have light sources, a table or workbench, a chair, and a back wall. We can go ahead and poop a chair out here. Now all we have to do is make a wall. That's not too hard, it's just a little annoying and time-consuming, and I accidentally put a brick of it outside of the house, which is one of the most annoying things I can possibly do in this game to myself. Look, I'm doing more of that. And this is why you need to make a hammer. Oh, we might as well make a wood sword while we're here, because it's better than the copper one, only because of the arc. Watch as I fix the problems I have given my masterpiece. Yay. Now we have to do that to this side as well. Pruning the wood. And now we just spray wood wall everywhere like a madman, and it will be okay. This is by far the most exciting portion of the video game called Terraria. If you ever wanted to know how wallpaper works, this may or may not be a good clue. It may also, of course, be a total and complete fabrication of the video game industry to simplify it the real construction of a house. But hey, who am I to say things about video games? I only do it as a hobby on YouTube and never update. So it's perfectly acceptable. We need one more of these. And I should be able to uh, reach all the way to the stars, or at least close to them. Now I need a few more bits of wood wall. Yes, it's coming together. Uh, uh, uh. And now this housing should be suitable. Suit of suit of fed. Yes. This housing is in no way associated with the medical needs of modern times. Now that we have that completed, our lovely guide has a place to rest so he doesn't barge all over the rest of our business. Speaking of business, it's time for us to go exploring. And by that I mean murdering a slime. Ah, you can hear by the change of the music that it has become nighttime. But I will not let the dissuade me from exploring the caves of snow and beyond. In the beginning of Terraria, of course, you have no exceptional movement tools. So one has to be very careful and jump off large cliffs without caring too much. Reckless Abandon is one's prime tool of movement. Here we have copper. Copper is used in the crafting of basic armor and stuff, but other than that it is not super interesting. What's actually probably more important at the moment is this stone. Stone will not remain very important for very long, but we need it to make a forge with which to forge forgery. And by forge, I probably mean some other name which is similar, 
but I am remembering it incorrectly because that tends to happen a lot. Also, remember to breathe in Terraria. This problem is in no way influenced by increased capacity for movement and survivability, which I experience on a higher level character. No, sir. It is just my natural forgetfulness. Actually, that is incredibly believable in reality. It is actually more handy to have dirt around than you might think as well. Because you can use it as an impromptu platform. Or you could make a house out of it if you really wanted to. If you wanted to subject your guide to live to living in a in a in a terrible crap place thing then I guess you could do that. I was searching for a word there, but my mental robot dictionary did not quite load properly. I'll have to ask my robot man for repairs on my brain there. I actually had a dream where I was a robot and I had my memories literally drilled out of me pretty recently. That was a little bit disorienting. But that's neither here nor there. It's pretty over there, actually. I don't think that's enough stone to actually do any- Oh, you would be spiteful, wouldn't you, game? I don't think that's enough stone to actually make something with. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. For my sake, I kind of hope I am wrong. Hey, shurikens! Shurikens are pretty okay. They're a very early game spammable ranged weapon, for one thing. Oh no, a zombie! Oh no, a darkness. It's like I'm really trying to LP Fallout 3 again or something. That was only a one shot, and I kind of forgot to turn on the light. Um, right. We can actually check out Mr. Faceman to see what we need to craft things. You can see that we, there's all this brick made of stuff we haven't seen. Oh my god, spoilers. But in order to make a furnace, uh, that's what it's called. We do have enough stone, and we need more actual wood. That would be the thing I forget. Naturally. So let's go get some actual wood, and then we can actual furnace. It would help it would be helpful if I had an actual bridge across this gap here. There we go. It would also probably be helpful had I remembered to replant the trees with the acorns that are otherwise useless. Perhaps I will get around to doing something like that. Or maybe in the snow biome they regrow automatically. I'm not actually sure on how the snow biome works too well. Well, I can plant them. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that one needs to plant them in order for them to grow. Logic and botany and stuff. Here's a furnace. And now that we have a furnace and some copper, we can make some copper bars. And with our copper, we can... Can we even do anything with our copper yet? We can make bricks. It's quite amazing. How much copper do we need to make stuff, Mr. Guy? Well, we don't really need to make copper stuff so much. We could make a copper broadsword if we really felt that necessary. The copper armor costs quite a bit of copper that we don't really have. There's also a variety of other things, like the flamethrower. What the crap is that? I can't see that. It's not something that exists until much later. Also the mechanical eye, worm, and skull. Who are the... What is this Skeletron Prime Destroyer and Twins nonsense? I have no idea. What is all this stuff that you can't get for hours? Anyway, now that that's out of the way... What are these? These are fallen stars. Collecting enough of them allows you to get actual mana, which would appear over here on the screen. Having actual mana allows you to do actual things with 
mana, which I don't have a good example of at this time because you don't get those for a while either. But it's also a good idea to have as much of that stuff as you can. Let's get some more wood. And while we're about and not fearing the night whatsoever, I guess I should just go ahead and explore some more. You know, if that would be possible. We're going to have a bit of difficulty getting over this gap because... Because water. By a bit of difficulty, I really mean... Wooden platforms. No problem. That's why it's always good to have wood. Wooden platforms are very important in early navigation. Possibly even later navigation. Here we have a bunny! You can slaughter them mercilessly or by accident if you play this game, but I will attempt to not kill any of them on purpose during any recordings of this which may occur. Ow. No promises because they tend to get in the way even though they are adorable. I can at least promise to make this a little bit more visible. <laughs> and here's the problem with night. I don't think I need to elaborate terribly much on that, since it's making itself quite apparent. The real problem here is the monotony, more than the threat. Because on this particular difficulty mode, softcore, the only thing you lose when you die is money. On the higher difficulty modes, you lose either everything you're carrying or your life forever. Which, neither of which is particularly a fun times ahoy sounding to me. Though if you are... Hey look, that rabbit accidentally died, but not by my hand. A zombie devoured it. Rabbits just don't have any hope in this game. So, anyway, as I might have been saying, the medium core difficulty, as it's called, is something that you would probably be used to if you were an incoming Minecraft player, since you lose everything you had on you, but then you can go pick it up again. You can also hear by the music that it is now suddenly daytime again. I would... I guess suddenly wouldn't be the proper term, considering that... Day and night just sort of happen. Like, over time. It's kind of what is time. Anyway, let's... Over here we seem to have an enclosed space. Of no merit. So that means we have to build up. Interesting. I think I mentioned that dirt is actually kind of useful to have around, and this would be one of the many reasons. Let's see what we can find over this way. Our goals at this moment would be to find more material to craft with, as well as possibly some treasure chests and other useful things. For example, here's some copper. Coffer, I mean copper. Copper for our coffers. That's a good start. And there's some more stone, though we don't really particularly need very much stone over the course of the game. I guess I can go ahead and grab it. We're going to have more than enough of that if we actually keep documenting this anyway. Oh, a shine potion. Might as well go ahead and chug that so I don't have to hold the context sensitive key whenever I want to light something up. At least for now. There are a lot of underground passageways like this in Terraria. And you'll probably be making a lot of your own underground passageways like this if you play this game. 
Here is some clay, which is useful for decorative purposes mostly. And here's some more copper. I have absolutely no idea how interesting this would be in the long run. But many, many people seem to do Minecraft LPs. And possibly LPs of this. Here is a chest! Containing an intimidating blowpipe. Ooh, scary. I've never actually used a blowpipe. You know what? Hey, iron bars. We might as well just take all of this. But we don't seem to have any ammo for blowpipe. I believe they use musket balls as if they were actual guns. Which is especially silly because by the time you can have an actual gun and or get the ammo easily, why would you use a blowpipe? I guess if you had access to the ammo, but not enough guns to spread through your multiple players, a blowpipe would be a decent secondary firearm for someone. Or I guess you can find you can theoretically find bullets before you can buy them. So I would guess. You can see that there's sort of a vague thing going on below us. What is down here? Aha, another treasure chest. Containing a Another blowpipe. Another angry blowpipe with extra damage. These blowpipes really need to chill out. Here's some copper and a lot more stuff. And I accidentally hit quick stack instead of loot all, which means it stacks what it can back into the chest. Hmm. By this point, I probably have enough money to make the merchant show up. But he requires additional housing. Unfortunately, you have to have the guy living in a house. You can't just get rid of the guy. Oh, that's a pleasant sight. What is this mysterious thing? Killing me is what it is. That mysterious thing is in fact a demon shrine, which cannot be meaningfully interacted with at this point in the game. And that is a boulder trap, which can meaningfully interact with your head and place it all over the floor at this point in the game. But I guess thankfully I dodged it. How much wood do I... enough to accidentally make a workbench? We're gonna need that workbench soon enough anyway, in order to furnish additional housing. This rocky wall here cannot be accompanied by platforms, so you just sort of have to build off of walls instead of just directly onto the rock. I mean, you can have stuff there if you want, but... Ah, this music has queued up. This music means that we're in deep caves now. Well, not when we're right here, in order to get this little bit of iron, but... At this point, it would probably be more sensible for me to actually have built a few additional platforms, so you didn't have to listen to my ginormously noisy spacebar. But, it's more platform efficient to do it that way. Hey, some topaz too, for our troubles. So yes, this wacky music means deep caves. And that just sort of means progression towards crazier stuff. Here's some silver, in fact. When I first played this game, I could not find any iron whatsoever. It was kind of terrible. And that's the end of that anecdote, because there's really not much more to say. It's mostly copper. Hey, is that some amethyst? 
that's really what this game is about. The sense of, hey, is that? Or, hey, what's that? It's like Curiosity, the video game. And Discovery, the other half of the video game. It is very entertaining. In my personal opinion. Ah, that was all the amethyst. Wait, is that some? No, it's just some. Yeah, don't want to miss this bit of silver, though. We can also use this, which helps a little bit. That's a night owl potion. Makes it easier to see in the dark. Which we happen to have ventured into. At this point, it's probably easier to die on purpose than it is to... backtrack my way out. Which means I will lose some money. But for all the stuff I found here, it'll probably be worth it. Someone I know is playing Star Trek Online. Shoutouts to them. There's some more silver there in the wall. And some more iron here in the... I guess that also counts as a wall. And there's a little mysterious Tetris block made of a material we can't harvest yet. Might as well just dig deep and dig greedily until we get ourselves knocked out of the picture. A much easier way to get back to the surface than patrolling my way out manually. Of course, knowing this game will probably take me a lot longer to want to die on purpose than it will... What I'm saying is there's probably a lot of cool stuff down here that I want. Like, here's a crap ton of copper. Let's light that up a little bit. You will never be excited to find copper unless you're just starting the Terraria world. Later, it starts to look annoyingly similar to some other things you might want to actually be looking for. But for now, copper is not a bad thing. What is going on over here? That looks really silly. <laughs> Who stepped on the boulder trap? Seriously, skeleton. What are you doing, mate? Can you take the boulder with... I... I don't know if I grabbed that boulder or not. I don't think that actually answered my question. Hey, there's a black slime. Those guys are kind of annoying. These are active stone blocks, because they have wires in them. And that was my active death. Baron Von Hauser destroyed by a mother slime. Full damage, kids. Not something to be trifled with. Now, I could go all the way back down there and get my money and stuff back, but... Really... Then I'd just have... be in the same pickle. I wouldn't be able to get out of there easily. We got plenty of stuff from that anyways. I think what I want to be doing at this point is expanding my little housing project in order to get someone else to move in. I probably... I'm not exactly sure how much the merchant requires, but... Probably not too terribly far off from the amount of money that he wants us to have. Because you gotta spend money to make money. You gotta have money to spend money. It's a, it's a very efficient cycle. I guess you could say. Ah, the lovely snow biome. Rather glad I ended up with one of these right next to home. It's very nice. Oh. Oh. 
and hmm, really, if I just wanted to be incredibly cheap about all of this, all I'd have to do be to make a little secondary floor here. Add a table, add a chair, add a little torch light, and I think this would already count as a second house. Yep. Now we would just have to wait to have the appropriate standings in the community in order for someone else to move in. In the meantime, while the guide decides whether or not to drown himself, I guess we should see what else we can do here. Silver, iron, copper. That's a lot of copper. I think I'm gonna blow some of this iron on a little chest to stack some of this junk in so that I may be more organized. Silver, iron, wood platforms, two blowpipes I have to remember to sell when the merchant comes by, active stone blocks, I'll we'll just keep the regular stone in here, I don't know if active stone has a good reason to keep it, maybe you can get the wires out of it, there's more iron, grenades, clay I'll keep around, there's a lens, might as well keep some of this. This is just sorting, not necessarily removing things from my inventory as of now. I could just do that and then withdraw what I need. Let's take the min let's take the metals out for now so we can see if I can do any more of those. Gel's good for torches. Torches are good for seeing. So does this. Might as well keep these on hand in case I get enough. And... Eh. See if there's anything else I can make. I can make bricks. We can make it a little nice vase out of that clay. We can also make colorful torches out of our gems. That's a little bit of a waste. Ah, an anvil is also very important. Place that right next to the thing. So we can get copper armor. Or weapons. We can also make a bucket to put on our head or to carry around water or lava as well as a chain and a zombie. He's not something we can craft but he just happened to show up anyway. Let's go ahead and Make some chain mail. Make a chain. Ooh, we can make a little chandelier already. But let's converse with this fellow and see what you can do with the chain. How does one make a watch? Ah, ten bars. A sawmill. Ah, uh, if only I had kept one of those iron. Sawmill is important, too. We'll keep that chain around for when we can do that. So yeah, this has been a sort of experimental, would Terraria be interesting to watch sort of video. Might keep playing for just a tiny bit more because this game is hard to stop playing. Give me a lens. 
Come down here and fight like you have more than an eye. Uh, no lens from him. But yeah, this has been Terraria. If this is interesting enough to warrant the continued video footage of it, and zombies that appear to have slaughtered more bunnies, then leave a comment and allow me to know such a thing is the truth. Uh... No, I don't want to die. <laughs> that would, that would be negative. Ugh. Must get into house. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, hey, a star. Let's get star. Let's get into house. There we go. So, if you want to see more of this in the future, not necessarily the immediate future, then allow me to know. Otherwise, this has just been a look into a game I've been playing a lot lately, and its potential interest. I don't think I have a very good closing statement to end that on, so, uh... So yeah, this has been Chag. This has been Terror. This house needs more torches. The end.